okay then, stop. Oh, hi. Hey, what do you think of her? It's the Turbo Susie 3000 downhill racer. The only trouble is it only races downhill and doesn't race uphill at all. I find it worked like a real car. But then, how does a car work? Hmm? Uses gas to pump it up. Motor. The engine gets lots of fuel and it starts moving. Um, with an engine and some gas. Hmm. Well, luckily, here's one I happen to have prepared earlier. Let's investigate. Hey, nice and comfy. Right, what have we got here? Oh, hey, look down here. The Turbo 3000 doesn't have pedals like this. I wonder if the pedals in the car work the same as pedals on a bike. Maybe they make the car go. Let's see. Maybe not. Well, let's start off by looking at what things this car and my cart have in common. How about the wheels? Now, there's four on my cart and there are four on this car. One, two, and two on the other side makes four. Oh, hang on. Five, the steering wheel. Watch what happens when I turn the steering wheel. It turns the wheels. Yep, the steering wheel is attached to a metal rod called the steering column and that goes right through the dashboard to the rack and pinion, which are more metal rods. You turn the steering wheel and the steering column, which turns the rod, and they turn the wheels. My cart has a steering wheel, but it doesn't have one of these. This is where you put the petrol. You might have seen your mum or your dad use one of these at the petrol station. The only thing is, they're normally attached to a pump and have petrol coming out of them. Have you seen petrol before? You probably haven't, because it usually comes in a container like this. Now, petrol is made from oil at an oil refinery. Petrol is a poison, and it's dangerous, so that's why it's always kept out of the way in containers or tanks underground. And when it goes into your car, it doesn't come out. It sort of disappears. Now, you really want to keep away from this part of the car. It's called the exhaust pipe. This is where some smelly, yucky stuff comes out when the car's going. Yes, it gives out yucky gases. Hmm. So let's move away from this part of the car and go up to the business end, under the bonnet. Here's our own motoring expert, Motor Susie. Now, because engines are dangerous things, we need to stand back. OK, let's have a look at that engine. Motor Susie starts the engine, and that sets the fan belt going, which helps keep the engine cool. Listen to that engine. Cool, when she revs it up, it's loud. I tell you what, I wasn't going anywhere near the inside of this while the engine was going, but did you hear the sound it made? It was sort of a very fast bang, 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 bang sound. And I'll tell you something else, too. When you touch this, ooh, it's hot. You know all that heat coming from inside your engine? Well, I think it might have something to do with this. The petrol we put inside our cars. The petrol that just disappears. Now, they say you have to be very careful around petrol. And of all the places where smoking is dumb, smoking around petrol is the dumbest of all. And that's because petrol catches fire and burns very quickly. So quickly, it explodes. And that's what's happening inside your engine. The petrol is exploding. No, not one big explosion. A whole lot of tiny, tiny little explosions. Well, let's have a listen to that car engine again. I happen to have it recorded. The noise of the car engine is lots of tiny little explosions, like bing, 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 but much, much faster. And what's happening is the petrol is burning up inside the engine and lots of little explosions. And the stuff that's coming out of the exhaust pipe here is what's left over, all the waste stuff. But tell me, 
Why would you want a whole lot of little explosions happening inside your engine? Well, when a substance like petrol explodes, all the tiny little pieces that make up the petrol push out violently in all directions at once. And it's the violent push that you want inside your engine. Noisy things, those explosions, aren't they? Ah, which helps to explain why car engines are so noisy. And speaking of car engines, I just happen to have an exact model of it inside a car engine. OK, well, maybe not an exact model, but some parts of a car engine do look a bit like this. See this thing here? This is the cylinder. And inside here, the petrol burns and explodes. Oh, remember when something explodes, it pushes out in all directions? Well, when it explodes, it pushes on this thing here. It's called a piston. It pushes and the piston moves down and turns the wheel, like this. So, the petrol burns and explodes in here. It pushes on the piston here. The piston pushes down on the wheel here. The wheel goes round and we're away. Yes, this happens. The piston's connected to the crankshaft. The crankshaft connects to the drive shaft. The drive shaft's connected to the rear axle and makes the wheels go round. The faster the piston goes up and down, the faster everything turns, including those wheels. Well, now we know what's going on underneath the bonnet. These pedals are starting to make more sense, and they're not for pedaling. This one here is the accelerator. The more you push it down, the more petrol goes into the engine, the faster the engine goes and the faster your car goes. And this one here is the brake. And it works a lot like the brake on your bike. When you press on the brake handle on your bike, something hard presses against the wheel and stops it from turning round. It really slows the wheel down. And the same in your car. When you press on the brake pedal with your foot, something hard presses against your car wheels, so they slow down too. There you have it, nice and easy. So what have we got so far? We've got wheels, we've got steering wheel, we've got petrol, we've got engine, we've got accelerator pedal, and we've got brake pedal. Hey? What's that? Ah, uh, I thought you were going to ask me about that. Some cars have a third pedal. It's called the clutch, and drivers use it to help them change gears. You know, gears, like the gears on your bike. Well, this is the gear stick here. You put your foot on the clutch, then you move the gear stick to change gears. You take your foot off the clutch to engage the gear. The faster the speed, the higher gear you need. And we're off. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. So a car has some things just like my turbo downhill racer. It has a steering wheel and wheels. But a thing that a car has that really makes it go is an engine. An engine that burns petrol and has lots of little explosions inside it. When the explosions happen, things move inside the engine. And when the engine's connected to the wheels, the car moves. But I tell you what, I think I'm going to stick to my downhill racer. It goes pretty well, well downhill anyway, and it doesn't have an engine. So I don't have to buy it petrol. I just wish I'd given it brakes. Kakite! It has steering wheels and whips. <laughs> just the one steering wheel. This program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.